While insisting it's all about the kids, politicians took pot shots over the gaping $72 million budget hole facing Newark School District. Mayor Roz Baraka fired first, frustrated over the state-run district's plan to raise school taxes 10.3 percent. Why uh, do we have to take responsibility for that by getting our taxes raised uh, when the state created this problem? Baraka dumped the blame squarely on former Superintendent Cami Anderson, who was appointed by Governor Christie and pushed the deeply unpopular One Newark School Reorganization Plan on an unwilling district, one that's now lobbying hard to regain local control. When Cami Anderson came into uh, office as the superintendent, there, were over, there was over a $40 million surplus in Newark Public Schools. $40 million. That money was wasted away. Wasted away. Under Anderson and Christie, Baraka also charged a wholesale expansion of charter schools has siphoned off state aid that should be spent in public school classrooms. The mayor complained he requested $36 million in extra funding from Trenton to offset that discrepancy, but only got $27 million. An annoyed Christie shot back. Now this, of course, comes from a school district that gets hundreds of millions of dollars from New Jersey state taxpayers every year because of a failed and I believe unconstitutional court requirement that we put disproportionate funds into a small number of school districts. Continuing the pointed point counterpoint, Christie noted charter school enrollment is up because families choose charters. So what the mayor wants to do is freeze any new expansion of charter schools, freeze any new development of charter schools. So those families are forced back into the failed schools that drove them to want to make the choice to begin with. Christie claimed teacher unions prevented the district from implementing reforms that now benefit charter schools. But Newark's union fired back. The state-operated district created this mathematically predictable mess, and it alone should pay the cost. To pass the buck of their irresponsible leadership to the city's taxpayers is an abomination. The district commented in the statement, the proposed tax levy will increase the average annual cost to Newark homeowners by about $185 on a home assessed at 175000 and that Newark Public Schools has raised taxes at far lower rates than the city of Newark in recent history. Baraka wasn't mollified. We have to demand that they find other ways to raise the dollars uh, for Newark Public Schools uh, this year and next year. Newark School Board meets tonight, and Baraka has called on its members to hold off on a final budget vote, hoping more state aid might be forthcoming. The board is advisory only. In the newsroom, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.